how to do direct mail marketing for real estate. This is episode number two. Now guys, that suggests that there is an episode number one. And if you haven't watched that yet, don't worry, watch this one first. They don't have to go in order at the end of this video. I'll put a link in the description and maybe even in the video that will send you directly over to that first episode so that you get the whole entire background. All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the holy grail of marketing. What is that? That is the right message to the right people at the right time. And at the end of this video, you are gonna know how to actively use direct mail to get out there with this three-part holy grail and get hot leads so that you can do your first or next deal in as little as 30 days. All right, guys, this first part of the holy grail of marketing is having the right message. Now, most wholesalers, they overcomplicate this. They make this message so long or they make it to where people feel like they're being sold. Now, although every single one of us are buyers, we all hate to be sold. So you've gotta make sure that your message is super straight to the point and more importantly, you don't want it to be a long message. Most messages when I'm looking at postcards from other like wholesalers, I'm like, oh my goodness, I had to take a nap during this thing. Keep it simple, keep it short. I want you guys to remember the age old adage, less is more. So you wanna keep it to the point. Let me give you an example of exactly what I do on my postcard so you can start to use this same message on yours. And I do something simple like this. My name is, put your name in the blank, and I would like to buy your house at 123 Main Street. If you'd like a quick, no hassle sell at a fair price, please text or call me direct so we can talk and then leave your phone number. That's it guys, super, super simple. And you gotta keep this so simple that people can read through it quickly, but you wanna do it in a way that they don't feel like they're being sold. So don't add all the garbage like pictures. I don't even add pictures of myself. I don't add the picture of a home with the for sale sign and there's a sticker going across it saying sold. No, this is so simple. I just use a white postcard with black handwritten font. I'm not handwriting them. People do that, the machines do that, right? At the mail company, but keep the message simple, where they have to look at it and say, man, what is this? Who's this from? Is it from a neighbor, a friend? Is it from the church? Is it from the scouts? They don't know what it is until they read it. That's the beginning of good marketing, where people have to read your message because they don't know what it is. Don't sell people. Don't look like you're selling people or they'll just toss you to the garbage. Now guys, you can make your own postcards. Maybe at the beginning stages. I remember when we first got into it, I literally was handwriting these postcards. My little at the time four-year-old was licking the stamps, putting them on the postcard and we were sending them out ourselves. But if you want access to the exact postcard that I use and if you're like, I do not want to mail this out, I've included a link down in the description to make this super simple for you. Of the company I use, you'll get my pricing, you'll have access to the postcard that I use. All you got to do is click that link down below in the description and it'll send you over to that company that I use. All right guys, tip number two for the Holy Grail of Marketing is mailing to the right people. Now, you know that getting into this game of wholesaling, you're going to have to have lists and we've all heard of like tax delinquent, code violation. We've heard of all the different various lists out there. We've seen people talk about them. We've gone to meetups and they tell you all the different lists that they want. But I'm going to share with you my top performing four lists right now. And I'm going to share it in an acronym so that you remember it. That acronym is PEND. P-E-N-D. Let's start with P. P stands for probate. Probate is one that anyone can get their hands on, guys. So I want you to, when you hear this, like, yeah, I've heard of this. This is nothing special, Cody. Let me tell you what you're going to do over and above just knowing about this list. Knowing the list, that's one thing, but I want you to become the expert with probate. How do you help the individuals? Some of those individuals that are going through probate, they've just inherited a home where mom and dad passed away. They're getting super stressed out because they also found out that it's gonna to have to go through probate court. Probate court suggests fear. It suggests, oh, the unknown. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's going down. You can be the one that brings them that peace that they're looking for. And an easy way to become the expert, it's a simple thing nationwide. All you'd have to do is type in your state. So for me, it'd be Utah. Then I'd type the word probate and then no low press, N 
O L O press. So Utah probate, no low press. Google that whatever state you're in hit enter and you're going to have every piece of advice documentation that shows you step by step what the probate process is for your state. That way you can be a solution to these individuals. Remember these individuals, they want help. They're looking for people that are knowledgeable, people that can actually solve their problems. Don't just be the one that mails to probate, become the expert and lead and guide them through the process of probate. If you can do that, they are going to use you to purchase their home. All right, guys, the second letter is E and it stands for eviction. Eviction, you're looking at it like, guys, I've heard of this. I, Cody, I know this list, but let me tell you the power behind this list. The power behind the eviction list is getting it daily. It's not the ones that you wanna look for like 30 days, 60 days, 90 days out. If you can get your hands on this list the day that, they, that someone is submitting an eviction notice, that is powerful. Why? Because these individuals are ticked off. These individuals are either, they have tenants that aren't making payments and it's been multiple months, or maybe it's they're trashing the home and the landlord, the owner of the home found out and he's like, uh-uh, this isn't happening to my home. And so they're trying to evict them from the home. The sooner you get on these leads, you catch them when they're already ticked off. They want, like most of them are thinking, I don't want this rental anymore. Be the solution to you. Let me tell you a quick story of what took place. I had an individual, I was driving down the street and there was a for rent sign inside, uh, like out on the property. So I call it and I said, hey, I'm just calling on this property that says for rent. Is it still for rent? And he says, yeah. And I said, well, tell me this. I know this is crazy, but I'm actually looking to buy a home in this neighborhood. Would you be willing to sell it? And he says, oh my gosh, absolutely I'd be able to sell this. You come over today and make me an offer and I'll sell this to you today. And I was like, wow, what's going on? And he says, oh, it's a duplex. So I'm just gonna be straightforward with you so you know what you're dealing with. On one side, they flushed concrete down the toilet. And on the other side, they just smoked meth in it. This home is trashed. It's gonna have to get rebuilt. It's gonna have to like rehab it, fix it up. And so come on over and I'll gladly entertain any offer that you have right now. Guys, this was a good sign. This was something that I was looking for. Eviction is a solid lead source, but the power is how fast you get to them. If you can get that list daily, which I find ways to do that in any state, get those lists daily. There's power behind it. Letter N stands for notice of default. Again, guys, these are ones that you can get daily. If you want to, you can get them from like a, a title company or a closing attorney. They have access to these files. So if you're closing deals with them, they should be willing to give you those lists for free. But this is an individual that's now behind on their mortgage. It's not too pre foreclosure, but maybe they've missed one or two payments and the bank's alerting them. Hey, we need these payments. Otherwise we're gonna have to do what's called foreclosure process, right? So notice the defaults, fantastic. That suggests that there's some changes going on in their life. Maybe there is a loss of job. Maybe there is a decrease of income. Maybe there's a stressful situation going on, divorce, or maybe there's something that just ate up all their free money to pay for something else. But right now, you know, they're behind on their mortgage. This is a great way to already have the conversation to see if there's a way that you can provide a solution to them. The letter D stands for divorce. Now divorce guys can be a heated situation. So this is someone that you can find out just again through public record, maybe at a courthouse, but also you can learn from just divorce attorneys. They may be someone that can suggest you as an option, but divorce guys, in many cases, they need to split up their assets quick. And usually that 30, 60 day option of going through a traditional real estate agent where they have to list it, find a buyer, get a buyer approved, go through the inspection process and close on it, is gonna be anywhere from 30 to 60 days, even in a hot market. And sometimes these individuals are like, nope, we wanna get rid of it quicker. We've had individuals that are going through divorce call us because they wanna close within seven days or less. A fantastic lead that allows you again to have quality conversations with individuals looking for solutions and you could be that individual. All right guys, before I share tip number three, I'd like you to hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell so it alerts you when I put out fresh new content, but let's get going into tip number three. All right guys, tip number three is the right timing, right? Timing is everything. In fact, if you look at the National Sales Academy, they say it takes on average five to 12 touches before someone chooses to do business with you. The beautiful thing is your marketing, every time you get your message in front of them, is acting as one of those touches that need to take place before people say, hey, 
I know, I like, I trust this individual. I'm gonna do business with this individual. So how often do you need to do this? Now, because this video is exactly around tied to direct mail marketing, I'm gonna break down what that looks like for you right now so that we can finish strong so you can get your direct mail marketing out there and really start getting those leads coming in. First and foremost, how many pieces of direct mail should be going out each and every week? If you can, I know budget can be, you're listening to this, you're like, I got this amount of budget, I don't know everyone's budget, but if you can get up to around 2,000 mail pieces each and every week, that's gonna give you a lot of opportunity where you can talk to a lot of individuals. If your budget's restricted and you can only send out 500, it's okay, get it out. It's still gonna help you out and it's still gonna get the ball moving. It may take a little bit longer to do a deal than someone that can send out 2,000 mail pieces a week, but it's still gonna get you in the process to where you can get a deal. The next question a lot of people ask is, how often should I get my mail piece out to those individuals? This is something I suggest, and we've been doing this for years, and we're always testing this. We have found the best results is every eight to 10 weeks. Between every eight to 10 weeks, your direct mail should be hitting the same individual. So let me break this down. If you mail to 2,000 people on week one, and you send out different 2,000 pieces to a different set of people on week two, what it would look like is on week eight, the same people that received mail on week one, they're gonna get mail on week eight. The people that received it on week two is gonna get week nine. Week three, week 10. Week four, week 11, right? So every eight to 10 weeks, your piece should be in front of them. If you can follow this process, guys, it's gonna serve you super well, but ultimately, the holy grail of marketing is what really unlocks the power of direct mail. The holy grail of marketing is really that when you tap into it, this is what brings you the hottest leads. You're now getting the right message, you're now sending it to the right people, and you're doing it with the right timing. If you can master this, you're gonna have a lot of deals coming your way. As a gift, guys, for being a subscriber to my channel, I wanna give you access to my seven-figure marketing list. These are the 32 list that my company currently is marketing to. Now, there's gonna be quite a few where you're like, yeah, I've heard of those, but there's gonna be many that no one is marketing to, which means you're gonna have a leg up on your competition. All you gotta do is simply click that link down in the description to get access to that seven-figure marketing list, and you can have access today.